let us start the experiment first we'll see the audio generator output that is sine wave take the probe and connect to this point sine wave generator output you can see the sine wave coming here let us measure it the peak to peak coming here is two hole peak to peak which is selected through this amplitude knob the frequency of the signal comes to 1.2 kilohertz which is set from this frequency knob from the audio generator block now we'll connect this sine wave output to the pcm modulator input as i told you there are two test points one is ram signal and second is pcm output let us first understand the ram signal this signal shows us number of quantization levels for 3 bit and 4 bit pcm so here first i have selected 3 bit pcm and you can see the quantization levels here you can see here number of quantization level and let us measure them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the number of quantization levels we have observed for 3 bit pcm is 8 now let us measure the ts time period as you know from this point to this point this is one sam sampling interval that is ts let us measure through cursor now you can see here ts between those two sampling points is 47 microsecond and the frequency comes to be 20.89 kilohertz that means ts here is 47 microsecond and frequency we observe here is 20.890 kilohertz now let us try to measure the delta v that means the max, maximum separation between two contraction levels so let us select the cursor to the amplitude to measure it accurately i have increased the volts per division for that and i have set it exactly in the middle of the uh, contraction level now let us take this let us bring the second you see here the the maximum separation between two contraction level comes to be 250 millivolt and you are aware of the maximum contraction noise can be delta v by 2 that means if you if you go for 3 bit pcm that means eight contraction level with this trainer we are going to find out the maximum contraction noise to be 125 millivolt for 3 bit pcm now let us see the ram signal for 4 bit pcm now i am selecting from the bit select knob the number of quantization levels for 4 bit pcm can be observed here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 that means number of levels for 4 bit pcm observed to be 16 ts remains the same and now the delta v we have to measure here what is delta v which will give us the maximum contraction noise that can be uh, found with 4 bit pcm let us bring the cursor again yeah and here you can see the delta v found to be 125 millivolt this is two hole peak to peak divided by 16 comes to 125 millivolt and this this matches to the exact value and that we can see that the delta v for the 4 bit pcm that means 16 level is 125 millivolt and maximum contraction noise can be delta v by 2 that is 75 millivolt now let us observe the pcm signal now as i have connected this sine wave out output to the pcm modulator input directly we can observe here the pcm signal you see this is my pcm output as i have applied sine wave here the bits are continuously changing that's why you can see this uh, changing bits in a bit pattern let us stop the signal to observe it more clearly now let us understand the pcm signal as i told you here we have we have make 16 bit frame length 
तो फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट आई गॉट वन फ्रेम लेंथ दैट इज वन टी एस पीरियड लेट मी ब्रिंग द कर्स ऑफ फॉर यू यू सी हियर दिस इज द वन सैम्पलिंग इंटरवल इट कम्स टू फोर्टी फोर्टी सेवन माइक्रो सेकेंड हियर एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू हियर दिट इज दिस इज टी एस एंड वन बाय टी एस कम्स टू ट्वेंटी किलो हर्ट्स तो दिस इज दिज आर दिस इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ सिक्सटीन बिट्स एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर आउट ऑफ द सिक्सटीन बिट्स हियर फोर बिट्स इज माई डेटा लेट एस सी हाउ इट इज लुक लाइक फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट देर आर फर्स्ट एट बिट हाई लेवल सिंग and from this point to this point there are two start bits and from this point to the next four bits are data here i can read it like 1 0 0 and then this last two are the stop bits that means from this point to this point i have got 16 bits first eight bits that those are high bits are my high level sync then after this high level sync i have got two low start bits and after that i have got pcm data sample 1 001 one. now as the four bits are selected here we have used 16 bit 16 quantization levels that's why each sample getting represented by four bits 1 001 one here and then i have got these two stop bits after that this get repeats so let us see here you can see here the first sam the the first ts second ts and then third ts and you can see that the bits are coming here here and here i hope you understood the four bit pcm output now let us try to observe the three bit pcm output now let me explain you what is this three bit pcm output and how to read it again you can see here this is my ts it comes to 48.20 microsecond and i have the frame length is same for 3 bit also and 4 bit also here is that is 16 bits out of the 16 bits my first 8 bits are high level sync then two bits are st start bit and data starts from the from here that means the, that is 1 0 0 and then here are the three stop bits now you may ask me how is the difference here the difference between 4 bit pcm and 3 bit pcm is this here that the stop bit here are three bits data i got start bit two bits then data and then three bit stop bits to make it more clear or to make your decision more accurate i request you to measure here from this point to this point the width of eight bits let us find out that the duration of the 8 bits comes to 24 microsecond that means for one bit it takes 3 microsecond now if you want to make it more clear that how many bits are here i you can see here from this point see here this distance is 6 microsecond that means these, these are two zeros and that is that they are start bits now here onwards my data starts 1 0 0 and then rest you can see the three of bits that is 8 bit high level sync then 2 bit start and then data and then 3 bit stop so hope you understand the 3 bit pcm output and 4 bit pcm output you see the samples are different here here the data is you can see here now for this sample how i will read this data being a 3 bit data i will read it 0 11 and this is this 3 bits are stop bits so this data is 0 11 8 bit high level sync 2 bit starts and then there is a, another third bit which is low that is why that is i will take it as a sample value 0 11 so hope you understood how pcm output looks like for 3 bit and 4 bit pcm please understand we have to again from this point to this point there are 16 bits this resum this represents one ts period and that once you understand that then you will not do any mistake here now let us connect the pcm output to the input of the modulator now i have connected pcm output to pcm demodulator 
and now i will ob let us observe the staircase approximated signal at this point is called raw data i will use second pro to see that how staircase approximated signal looks with a input now what i did i have connected pcm output to pcm demodulator and now i have used second probe and connected at the raw data point of the pcm demodulator now let us see the waveforms i am making the second channel on and you can see here that my raw data started coming and it is staircase approximated signal you can see here you can see from this place that this is my analog input signal and this is my staircase approximated output and you can see the the output or the raw data is following the input sequence now as it is a 3 bit pcm you can see here different quantization levels and the delta v is quite large here so let us observe the raw data for 4 bit pcm and you see you can see the considerable difference between number of number of uh, uh, staircase approximate uh, steps here and you can see now the steps have increased and you can see here the approximation is more near to the as input signal now the last step remains which is to observe the low pass filter output now the as you are aware of this signal consists of high frequency components will block those high frequency components and will pass only those frequency components which are which are less than fm uh, hertz will be can be seen here on the low pass filter output you can see here perfectly the recovery signal this is my recovered signal this is my transmitted signal and you can see here the re reconstruction is uh, quite well as compared to uh, 3 bit uh, pcm now let me show you the 3 bit pcm output you see the distortion here is higher the reconstruction quality is less in 3 bit and if you see if you make it 4 bit you can see you can there is a considerable difference between the recover output between 3 bit and 4 bit so this is a 4 bit pcm this is 4 bit demodulated output and this is for 3 bit pcm demodulated output so hope you have noticed the difference between the rec recovered output between 3 bit pcm and 4 bit pcm now hope every one of you understood the pulse code modulation and demodulation process we have observed all the test points here now, now we have observed the pcm modulation and demodulation with the sine wave input now let us observe the pcm modulation and demodulation using variable dc as an input now i am connecting variable dc from this block to the input of modulator the main reason to give this input to see quantization process uh, in detail so let us see you can see here now now when i when i gradually increase my dc hold from zero hold you see here what is happening so this is my pcm output i have selected 3 bit pcm and I'm applying variable dc now gradually i am increasing the dc voltage here and you can see here first led blown up and you can see here the first binary bit is getting represented in the waveform so let us read that waveform how will you read this waveform as i told you from this point to this point there is a one frame of 16 bits out of the 16 bits first 8 bits are my high level sync and then i got two start bits and then three stop bits so here data is 0 0 1 0 0 1 and here these three are the stop bits because i am using 3 bit pcm so you can see here now we will gradually increase the voltage again for to some and we'll see whether the output can be changed here yeah you can see now the difference here now the output here is 0 1 0 now as i as i gradually increase the voltage you can see the difference here 0 1 0 similarly when i increase it to maximum level you can see i will show you here the output for maximum dc voltage when that means it is 
it is getting quantized to highest quantization level from this RAM signal. Okay, you can see that I have got three ones here. How I, I will read eight bit high level sync, then two bit start, then three bit data, and then three bit stop bits. Now you will see LEDs are uh, all the LEDs are on one one one. Here I can see one one one. Now let us go for four bit PCM. Obviously, I will make first the zero input. You see now, no LED is glowing here, and you see this is my one bit frame TS interval 47 microsecond, and you can see there is eight bit high level sync and uh, um, all zero bits, two bit start, four bit zero, and then two bit stop. Now let us see if we increase the voltage gradually. I get the data 8 bit high level sync 2 bit start 0 0 0 1 my data is 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so hope you understand how now because all the samples are quantized to same quantization level that's that's why this leds can be can can the other leds are off and the, this led is on for for analog input all this led seems to be glowing all the time because though they they, they are switching between 0 to 1 but we can't see them and that's why when sine wave is input sine wave input is applied they all all seems to be on but here now you can see clearly that is changing now let us take one another example okay now i will sh show you now see now i applied the highest voltage and i have given all ones here you can see here on the led there are four ones here and let us see here how output is coming now you can see here 8 bit high level sync 2 bit start 1 1 1 1 and 2 zeros so i have got four ones here same are assembled here 1 1 1 1 four ones here four ones this is how this variable dc helps us to understand the contraction process in minute detail and now hope every one of you understood how to perform this experiment uh, using sinusoidal input and using variable DC as an input. Thanks.